craving analysis and explanation. You want to be comforted and assured. If so, you've come to the right place. Rush Limbaugh, the EIB Network, the Limbaugh Institute for Advanced Common Sense Studies, as well as anti-leftist and anti-media studies. Study everything here. Uh, telephone number, want to be on the program, 800-282-2882. The email address, lrushbow at eibnet.us. Okay, so we have the North Korea situation. We have the uh, the Dreamer, the DACA situation, uh, with you know, the children, uh, illegal alien children that uh, Obama universally decreed could stay and work towards citizenship. That Trump has now put, uh, well, he's, he's, he's canceled it in uh, a six-month waiting period and thrown the ball back to Congress. Okay, you people fix it. Uh, this is a fascinating, fascinating, very, very teachable moment about something as relevant and important as the Constitution. So we'll get to that. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, what's uh, what am I still looking at? The Dreamers. Um, well, there's one other thing out there in addition to all this. The hurricane is what I want to lead off with, though, folks. And I've got to be very careful here because I am not a meteorologist. And to pass a, a DACA-like bill when Obama was in office, which forced Obama to do the executive action. Remember now, this is when the train loads of all of these kids are arriving. You remember this? I mean, it had the nation roiled, and it went on being 800,000 kids. And I remember being suspicious of it from the get-go. What, how, how many parents like this would literally put their single-digit age kids on a train all the way up from Central America through Mexico all the way to the United States with them awaiting at the arrival? Who, who would do this? Parents, I mean, I don't care how culturally rotted we are, that kind of thing still seems a bit beyond the pale, yet it was happening in droves. And the Obama administration seemed excited about it and eager. And they were foregoing being processed. They were just being taken off these trains, essentially, and placed in homes all over the country. Remember, all this taking place under the auspices of the Democrats' grand plan of amnesty, amnesty for all illegal immigration immigrants in the country at the time. Now, we're talking 2000, 2008, 2010, 14, any number of years uh, during the Obama administration, this was the dream of the Democrat Party because there is your permanent underclass. They need a permanent underclass of always dependent people. Uh, ready to keep voting Democrat in order to keep the dependency coming. And the Republicans were not cooperating. They refused to pass they, once they get here. The fact that, that they refused to pass the bill is what forced Obama into doing the executive action that led to when these kids became uh, named dreamers. And, of course, you have a name like that. How can we deny the dreamers? How do we kick out the dreamers? The same Republicans refused to pass a bill like this when Obama was in office are many of the same Republicans who now want to preserve it, who want it in order to save the children. Page of the Democrats or the Republicans would love to be thought of as compassionate. The Republicans crave being thought of like the Democrats are compassionate and open-minded and nice and understanding. Republicans are tired of being thought of to people that want to starve kids. So now that there is a chance to build back to Congress, okay, you guys have at it. Because Trump cannot be permitted a victory, especially over something like this in the drive-by media. This is just sap company profits, which will ultimately cost 